Hey guys and welcome to another Pygame tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at FPS in Pygame. So before we begin, let's briefly discuss what FPS is. Well FPS stands for frames per second. Basically it means the number of frames executed by your computer in a single second. In the context of Pygame, that means how many times this while loop, also known as the game loop, how many times it runs, how many times it executes within a second. Okay. That means how many times our screen refreshes, how many times the events are detected, how many times our characters are drawn, okay? So FPS is a pretty important topic. Alright, so what I want to teach you here in this video basically is how to make a constant FPS, okay? How to make your game run at a constant frames per second, like 60. So the thing is, if you have a very inconsistent frame rate that causes problems, okay, I could talk about this for ages on why these problems are caused and whatever, but just know that an inconsistent frame rate is going to cause issues, okay, like it's running very high on very high frames per second on a high-end computer and on a low-end computer it's running at lower frames per second and it's just going to cause a lot of problems so you need to have a constant frame per second and please do not use that stupid solution with the time library which is, you know, people import time like this and they do time.sleep okay and something like this don't do that that's a horrible idea and it's not going to work out what you need to do instead is use pygame's own features okay it's a very simple solution clock is equal to pygame.time.clock okay capital there sorry and that's it okay you just need to come down here now and say clock.tick and whatever frames you want to set it to in my case 60 so that's it you're done all right so there's just one little bonus thing that I want to show you guys, okay, which is kind of cool. So I just thought I'd show you. Basically, I'm going to show you a way to see your FPS on screen. Because currently, if I run this, there is nothing on screen, okay? Now, of course, you won't see anything because we're not drawing anything, and it's just running at 60 frames per second. So right now, you just got to believe what I say. But I'm going to show you a way of actually seeing your current FPS. This is the little FPS clock that I made, okay? FPS class, actually, sorry. Uh, basically, it's just a few lines. Let me just explain this real quick. Here's our clock. I'm making the clock the same way that we did before. Here's some font that I'm making using the Verdana text, uh, Verdana font, and it's size 20. Okay, if you want to check out my video on fonts, I'll include it in, in the description below. So check that out. And here is some text that I'm rendering using the font. Now, what is this in the first parameter over here? I'm using self.clock.getfps. This returns a float value of our current FPS. Okay, so whatever that is. And I'm converting it to a string because this function takes a string as the first parameter, a string to be rendered on screen. And this is the color, RGB values, which is white. Here I'm just rendering it. I'm, re I'm just recalling the same thing over here, down here. It's because I need to re-render this text each time. Okay, I need to make the text each time because uh, the values are constantly changing, right? And here I'm just drawing it to the screen, roughly to the center. So I'm just going to add in a line or two. Okay, display.fill, which is something I need to do because I need to refresh the screen. And or here I'm going to do... Uh, okay, I need to remove this actually. I'm going to re replace this with fps is equal to fps. Okay, it's an object of the fps class. Then I need to do FPS dot render pass and display, and then I just need to remove this line with FPS dot clock dot tick sixty, and let's run this, and we are done. Good, no errors. Okay, look at that. There's our FPS being printed out. It's pretty stable. Uh, I just want to show you one more thing: how to remove all of those numbers. Okay, we don't want it. Uh, we don't want that many numbers, okay? We don't want that many decimal places. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the round function. Okay, this takes the number that you want to round off, and then it takes the number of decimal places that you want. I'm just going to run this now, and there you go. It looks a lot better, doesn't it? And we're done. Okay, so here we're done with this tutorial, and if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this, more cool stuff like this, more Pygame tutorials, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment, leave some feedback, all right? And I'll see you guys in a later video.